Okay, this is just a short video I'm going to put on YouTube for anyone who wants to see what the planning application that's going in on this site is just next door to White Acres campsite in White Cross in Newcomb Cornwall. Basically, what we're envisaging is a, an eco home going totally off grid, which means no mains electrics, no main sewerage, no main sanitation, okay, using the water at source. Our sanitation will be done by reed bed and our energy can come, excuse me, golly, come on, um, will be done from a reed bed. This road was actually a very small car access, okay, with good hard standing and what I did, I let the county council road department use it as infill. It was all licensed with the EA, the Environment Agency, um, they covered the license and I allowed them to tip for free. Okay, so I've never made any money, but what it did mean is any stone that I considered to be usable for either hedging or for a build, a future build, I used. Since then I've been sourcing, I've been sourcing many different things, some bricks, I've been sourcing pipe work, anything that I might possibly be able to use in a build. So far the plans are in, so it's up to planners and to decide for themselves. One of the, one of the main pushes for me is, is I, I get quite angry with the way that we build in society, whereas we're building properties that aren't lasting. We're building properties that might last 70, 80 years, and they're charging, what, £100,000 for that privilege? And instead of just taking a, a five-acre plot and putting five, five houses on there or six houses on there and building them sustainably, and if, if you have that sort of acreage, then you, you're quite willing and you could do a reed bed system for your sanitation you can use wind generation or solar panels. I mean, they're moving on so fast with the technology on, on how fast it's, it's getting is just crazy. Batteries are also technology. The batteries is coming on and it's also getting more affordable. Now, one of my main reasons for being off-grid here is obviously the site is 195 to 200 metres away from the main water source and also where we've just passed the gates is where our electricity would come from if we were getting attached to the grid. So you're looking at a two and a half thousand pound bill just for the fact of putting a cable in, which is always destructive no matter what you do. Put a cable in and then we're attached to the grid. Now there's pros and cons for that. Obviously, if I've got to fork out two and a half grand to begin with, then that have already given me two and a half thousand pound in a pot to put towards eco projects and, and sustainability things that I can buy, source or modify. Um, also while I'm going around I'm looking at stuff, this is part of Falmouth Pier, 100, 160 year old Falmouth Pier. Can't even figure out what type of wood it is, but they're going to have some use in the build. Whether it's structural or whether it's just decorative, I'm not sure yet, all depends what it is. Every piece of stone you see here would have, would have been put in that would have gone to either a landfill or some form of processing plant to be processed, which all has a cost to the environment. Every time you process something, you're adding on cost to the environment, whether it's in fuel or whether it's in man hours, in, in the fact that the person who processes it has to be fed, clothed, they live, they use water, so they're using energy. The main materials we're going to be using in this build is some of the stone that you've passed on the way down, which is granite um, and luxilianite, 